Even in this drought, clean drinking water is something many of us take for granted, but it's a problem that has faced the Arvin community for years. While short-term solutions like Agua for All stations and new water filters at schools have helped, residents wonder when a long-term fix will happen. 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks joins us now with more on how residents are forced to deal with the issue and when that will change will come. Stephen? Yeah, because of arsenic in the water supply, it's water stations like this that are some of the last options left for Arvin residents who are looking for clean and safe drinking water. But tonight, water officials tell us they are working on a long-term solution. Like other places, like their water just comes out straight up yellow. In Arvin, the problem is decades old. Arsenic in the water supply. It's an odorless, tasteless element that can cause a number of health problems. Like skin rashes, you might get an upset stomach diarrhea, stuff like that, but long term it could be, could lead to cancers, um, thyroid problems. Residents are told to avoid drinking it, using it to cook and wash dishes with, or even bathe in. We're advised not to, um, but I mean, it's really hard not to shower with it, right? It's like the only option we have. After the EPA changed regulations on the acceptable amount of arsenic in 2006, the Arvin wells fell out of compliance, leaving water officials two options, either build treatment facilities for the current wells or replace them altogether. Treatment facility will cost a lot of money without that. Who would have to pay for it? The public would have to be able to, our customers. They elected to build new wells, and the project has taken years to get started because for this disadvantaged community, money is hard to come by. We needed to get funding for the entire project. Now the entire project was at $23 million. They've been able to secure enough to get started on phase one. While the test wells show positive results, they won't know until they're completed whether they'll need to invest in treatment facilities or to build three new wells. In the short term, families are forced to buy bottled water or fill up at stations here because financially, installing water purifiers is simply out of the question for a lot of families. He says those that can't afford it, then face the problem of which purifier to buy. If it's not certified to remove arsenic, then it's basically doing nothing, and you just wasted your money. And for those interested, we'll have a link to those certified uh, arsenic water filters on our website because while that long-term solution is underway, it's still years away from being completed. Tim, back to you. All right, Stephen, thanks. Another 